that's too baby awful. Friendly. It's not I awful. Hi, I'm Joey. Hi, I'm Anya. And I'm Freya, and we're going to be reacting to some of the most iconic moments from The Witcher. What I remember about that moment is like travelling, we had a 40 minute hike yes. every morning up to that point. We were in an inaccessible volcano. Yeah, and we had to carry all equipment. Yes, we carried our, yeah. We I were, carried the food, made sure that was there. Yeah, carrying up uh, makeup bags and, and, yep. and camera boxes and stuff mm. and got to the top of, uh, of this volcano and, and then they went, now act. Now act, yeah. <laughs> it was mad. It was kind of epic, yeah. yeah I mean, wonderful. the scene around you was just amazing. She's been so involved in my life, yeah. just, and people know me because of her. <laughs> um, so yeah, just, it's just changed my life completely. She's put me in situations that I didn't think I'd be put in, or I've had to deal with certain situations and figure out so much about myself through playing her, so. Who is Yennefer? Ah! Oh, awful. that's too baby awful! It's not I awful. Can't. I can't look at myself from that thing. season. It literally like oh. does something to me. Oh. It's like looking at old photos. I'm so young it's there. It's gorgeous and and eyebrowless and squeaky voiced and ah, can't. No. I love that moment. No. Well, I remember it being having more, and I remember finding it really odd to be honest that it sort of just ended with this, "Who is Yennefer?" and that was just it. Thought it was a very strange way to do it, but yeah, I remember kind of waiting for that moment to work with with Henry because I hadn't yet, mm. and meet Geralt because I've been banging on about him the entire <laughs> season, mm. and finally, you know, find Geralt, find Geralt, find Geralt, finally found Geralt. So it was kind of a relief. <sighs> I was a ballsy little teenage. I, I don't know. I was. I mean, I decided to do this career completely off my own bat when I was 14. So I just, I just always had that determination, I guess. And my parents just supported me through that. And, um, and my mum came out with me for that first season, which was really lovely to have that support there. Mm -hmm. And I think I just kind of just went for it. I was so determined and I was terrified because especially since episode one really began with like quite heavy stuff and I was sort of, I didn't, I, I was sort of like, oh, how do I tackle this? So I'd sit in my room and just cry. As in, like, as in trying to cry, because <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Um, so it was such a learning curve that whole season one. I love that. I love it. Continue watching that. That scene uh, is a is, was originally shot as a one as a one shot. Um, which was really fun because it meant that I was able to, to actually, it felt a bit like doing a play. What's featured in the show is actually, there's a whole first half to that song that's, that was later cut. So I had to kind of do a take and then a team of people came in and just wiped all the sweat away from me. That's my sort of abiding memory of that day. Be, of sweating so much but being very cold because we were shooting outside. And I re regret writing a song that I couldn't sing. <laughs> I wrote that song and I, I literally pitched it so high that I because I wanted this like passion in him to come out. And yet it's had how many number ones? Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, how many <laughs> charts has it been on? And yeah, but try amazing. doing it live, it was a nightmare. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. <laughs> in all honesty, uh, the cubicle of a bathroom to the point where I was like, how did you know? But I think I, they'd Whilst seen me. The I was washing my hands mm -hmm. and then someone was humming uh, one of the songs and uh, I, yeah, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Did you see their face? Did they come out? The no, I ran from <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Yeah, I love screaming. <laughs> I mean, I love screaming. We had a rain machine. So it wasn't actually raining that much, which is fantastic because I love working in, you know, when anything can help you, um, mm. you know, get that moment and get that tr trauma and, and um, feel that pain. Mm. Everything helps. <laughs> no! It's crazy, Siri. <gasps> no! 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 <laughs> I mean, that wasn't Siri, so there we go. I was yeah. playing an old woman in a 
in my body. Follows me. Really. Yeah. yeah, follows me. I loved um, working with uh, with you on in the in the uh, Yaskia's getting tortured scene in season two. That was a long, long couple of days, mm -hmm. but it was um, something I could have got through that without that you was coming incredible. in and being. <laughs> you were amazing. Um, that felt right. Mm. Felt like you kind of left the the set that day, going, "Well, you know, it might suck, but we tried." It would probably be season one, <laughs> the whole season. Yes. Yeah. Um, because from when how I was feeling when I started, mm. I don't know how I, I don't know how I got to the end. <laughs> But I did, and there was just so much to do. It was so new, and I literally just got chucked into the deep end. I can't believe I, I did it. Mine probably lie in this season, I'd say. Probably say the Morocco episode seven of this season. Oh, this was great. Bang. We love this. Oof. We just worked on building series um, kind of style of fighting and there's no sword but we were trying to base it off kind of Geralt style but also me putting in things that I'd learnt from forms and things into it and so that was, was really fun and I love all the stunt performers there so we were kind of working as a team and it was so much fun to get to do it with them. And they're like, no please don't hurt me. And just like a boatload of fangs. All up in your business. <laughs> what, a, what an idiot. That's <laughs> brilliant. I had people so messaging me going, I love how it ends, the trailer, oh, with your line. It's so nice in season three, <laughs> we got to, uh, Henry and I got a, a lot more time together on, on and off the screen, and it meant that we kind of returned to, it gets a little closer to the book dynamic, and we really wanted that, we wanted to explore, you know, the day-to-day the -day of Geralt and Yaskier and killing monsters and things like that. And uh, there's that whole sequence that people will see in season three. Uh, got to work with two actors, who I can't, I'm not going to say anything, but um, who are personal heroes of mine as well. So uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that plays out. Oh, help me out, guys. I love the beginning of the, is it the beginning of the trailer where you're like, well, I'm never right. Well, that's, that's, that's scary. Well, that's, yeah. deeply that, that's deeply worrying. I'm deeply worrying. That a, makes me laugh same. every time. I love that as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, they, sometimes they just let the camera roll at the end of a scene in case I say something. <laughs> and it's always in. <laughs> it's always someone deeply makes worrying. it. <laughs> Thanks for watching some of our most iconic moments. Oh, or reacting to some of our most iconic moments. Um, you can now watch season three of The Witcher on Netflix. <laughs>